Okay, so this is the second video in the series on uh, programming Windows Forms in C Sharp. Uh, before I go on, I thought it would be uh, interesting to give this program a context. So, uh, it would be interesting to me to know my ideal weight. I know that a lot of people would. Uh, my physician once told me that uh, if I measure myself up in centimeters and I take a hundred out of that, I would have my standard weight. Now if I'm a girl and I want my ideal weight, then I would need to take an extra 0.85 out of that. And if I'm a boy, I would still need to take 0.9 out of that. So I have two weights to consider, my standard weight and my ideal weight. Now if, uh, if, I, if you think uh, I'm blowing smoke off here, uh, I didn't make this up. I looked it up in the internet. Uh, there's a bunch of places which would say the same thing. This one makes a pretty good uh, example of what the calculator could be. So uh, I'll just type in my height, 188 centimeters, and I'll choose male, and I'll just press and calculate. And it comes back with my standard weight, which is uh, 88 kilos, and my ideal weight, which would be 79 kilos both of which, unfortunately, are way below my actual weight, but that's another story. Uh, for now, this makes a good calculator example. I can press delete and start all over again. On our application, I'll add a third button, which will be quit. And the reason which, uh, well, I can't quit in a web app unless I close the browser, or the tab for that purpose but I can quit an application, so I'll just uh, make it a third button, and there should be no sweat. Uh, so let's go back to Visual Studio. This is where I left off in the first video. I have my fully functional, but very boring form. I change the text to reveal what I want to do now. And let's start, okay? So uh, I want a label and a text box for size, a label and two radio buttons for the gender. So let's start with that. So I click on label, I don't drag, I just move over and click where I want this to be. And then I uh, search for the text box. And I click once again. Well, that didn't align too well, but no problem. My editor will allow me to align these two things in a pretty cool way. Second label for the gender and then I choose two rated buttons. Number one, which will be for female. Number two, for male. Okay, so once again I want these to be aligned, so I will just uh, bring them close together. There I go. Uh, and, well, according to the rules that I told you in the previous video, I need you to program these controls with specific type names, so let's give them names now. This first label will be the label allowing me to ask for size. So I'll say size in centimeters, and the name of the control will be LBL size. Now remember label stands for, LBL stands for label. Label number two will be called LBL gender, because in this label I will ask somebody to tell me their gender. Radio button number one will be holding a text which will say female. Radio num button number two will hold a text called, well, saying male. And, well, radio button number one will have a name called red for radio button and it will be female while control number two will have name called red for and male. Now uh, how does uh, the interface know that these two need to be synchronized? That means that I can only press one. Well, since I created them one after the other, the interface knows that they must be synchronized. If I want to prove that, I'll just run the application and once I have it, I'll see that I can just press one of them, which is exactly what I want. Okay? <coughs> okay. 
my design now says that I need calculate and delete so I'll add two more buttons calculate and delete remember I'm just clicking moving not dragging and just clicking when I want it to anchor I'll add a third button which will say quit and I'll just put it down here and well the naming conventions hold once again this first button here we will be called BTN calculate the second button will be called BTN delete and the third one will be called BTN quit and if I go to the uh, text property I'll just write all three of them at once quit delete and calculate okay so far so good couple more things to do I need a standard weight ideal weight plus two more text boxes so two more labels label number one label number two text boxes for all I align okay and now, now I'll do my job, I'll rename these controls, I'll let you do the same thing okay so now I have finished renaming my controls the, so this one is called label standard weight label ideal weight text standard weight text ideal weight and this one right here button quit if I run my my application I'll see everything is in place so this is it for this video I have shown you how to reproduce my sample application using standard uh, controls using Visual C Sharp. So here, here I have my model, here I have my prototype. It still doesn't run, but I have my design using Visual Studio. In the next video I'll tell you how to add behavior to the components and how to perform the actual calculations using the C Sharp programming language. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching.